Welcome to Learning More. Today we are going to talk about division and we're going to talk about your child's division journey right through from early division up until they're actually using very formal pencil and paper methods. Now division can be one of those scary concepts. Sometimes children see it as very difficult and sometimes parents do as well. But I'm going to show you some really fun practical ways of exploring division and really look at those methods that children are using today within the curriculum to really help support you as parents and see what they're actually doing. The, the methods haven't actually changed that much. It's maybe just the vocabulary and there are maybe a few steps in there that uh, are pre-steps in there that maybe as I know what I, when I was at school, I didn't actually do. So we're gonna start with um, around five-year-olds. So you're talking around year one stage, P2 stage, and this is when children will be introduced to division. Now they won't necessarily be introduced to the term division at this stage. It will be more focused on the idea of sharing and perhaps having uh, further on. So at this stage, it's all very, very practical. You want to give your child really concrete resources to be able to use and to really, it's all really about the, that discussion, really getting that lovely basis of that concept developed and really allowing them to actually just practically have a go. So I would tend to use things that your child is interested in. And in our house, we absolutely love Lego and I'm sure you've seen lots of Lego videos from, from Learning Mole. And I would actually just go through that very, very practical sharing You've got some Lego blocks and you need to share them between two people. So I've just made a little Lego um, plate with a little divisor in here and I've got my blocks and I'm just going to basically ask the child to physically share those blocks. And it can be as simple as one for you, 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 and on and on until they've shared out all the blocks to each side of the Lego plate. And then what you want to do is actually ask them to count and make sure that each person has got an equal number because we really want to get that idea across that if you're sharing, it needs to be equal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight each. So I wouldn't even talk about you've got 16 or whatever at the beginning. I would actually just get them to share them out and that would be your first step. The next step would be that you might actually want to give them the number and say you've got 16 blocks you need to share them between two people, how many will they get each? There you are starting to introduce that idea of the vocabulary, you're starting to introduce the idea of the operation, although you're still not using the word divide. If you want to use the word divide instead of share, that's absolutely fine because it's really good to, I think, immerse children in mathematical vocabulary very early. So you will tell them you've got 18 blocks, can you share them between two people. Now I'm just going to show you a different method for this and I actually this is why I love Lego. So I would get them to share, so they're one each, do their one each, one each, one each and this time I would actually get them to build their blocks up and you'll see the reason for this once they are shared. Obviously you will probably take a little bit more time and this is, this is why I love Lego for this, because immediately the children can see that they are equal shares. The towers are exactly the same height. If one isn't, they know they haven't shared equally. So that is a really nice way of comparing equal numbers as well. So Lego is really, really good for that. But do lean to your child's interests. So if your child likes little monsters, get them to share their monsters and say, right, share these between you and your brother, share these between you and your friend, share these between you and me, and really get them to get that idea of sharing and it has to be equal. This is also another way of introducing remainders very early because if you've got an uneven number, so if I take one block away, what you can say is, look, these aren't even, so it's not fair. So this one will have to be left over for later on. So again, you're starting to get that idea of remainders in there, but all very practical and all very visual. I also find that food works very well. My children love to play with food. So if you've got sweets or grapes or Cheerios, do sharing activities with those and just really make it as practical and as simple as you possibly can. 